Hello, hello, my loves. Yet another beautiful evening straight across the 254. Or should I say beautiful night? I want to welcome you to Kiss TV and for the first time ever, welcome to Good Vibes Only. Taking you through this night, pole pole mos mos as we have a lot of fun as well. My name is Kamene Goro and I have quite the agenda in store for you. Of course, we're going to have some amazing music in store. We're going to catch up with easily the best band we have ever had in the 254. Yes, shoot me, shoot me. But before we get into that, two ways you can hit us up. Remember, get me on all social media handles at Kamene Goro. You can get at us at Keep It Kiss. You know the hashtag is good vibes only. Of course, you know we're here about entertainment. We're about the music. Before I introduce to you my amazing guests on the ones and twos. Jimmy Upenda, my DJ, but I think DJs are the next best thing after Superman, God, and sliced bread. <laughs> I have DJ JT right here on the ones and twos. Nyaji Buddha. Nico Fresh. Nico Fresh, Ibarida. Nico Fresh, Ibarida. How have you been? I've been good. How's your Saturday night taking you? I feel good. You excited to be spending it with me? I am, of course. Why do you look like you're lying? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have an amazing, amazing Saturday night. Asante Sana JT is going to be here. Amazing music lined up. If you have any requests or you want to hit him up, the hashtag is good vibes only at Kamene Goro at Keep It Kiss right here on Kiss TV. But my three most amazing guests for tonight, fitting for the very first episode of Good Vibes Only, premiering exclusively tonight. On Kiss TV, I have the one only super talented, way too talented, legendary epic. I could go on forever. Elani is right here with us, my people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elani, Bravo. baby. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> no, sir, no, I died for you guys. I died. I really just Thank died. You. No, Thank seriously. You. That was so, one dope intro. Really? Yeah. I'm good at this. You, you are. pay me more for mm -hmm. it. Know, and congratulations on the first episode. Yeah, Do you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five years out of TV, I'm on right. like, do I still have it? Mm -hmm. But I'm happy you guys are here. Of course. Such yeah, a course. vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give you a name by name. So there's Brian here, but I hear he's not really a Brian. He isn't. He's, he's, he's like really letting you guys down. I don't think that's down or up. Uh, I don't think that's no, no, bad no, or it's, good. It's level up. <laughs> Brian it's level up. Good. Good. But it's good. He doesn't live up to it. It's good. It's good. Then we have Miss No Voice Wamboy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. And of course, right there, pretty in pink, Maureen. So bubbly, so bubbly. Hello. You guys are such, so much energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you maintain it through the years? God. God. I think you're a brand, but you also have to like, really love what you do. It's the same thing. It's like you. Uh -huh. You mm. will maintain it because you're enjoying yourself every day. Yeah. Yeah. And True every day that. is a different experience mm. for you, the same way it's a different experience for us. Yeah. No right. interview is the same. Mm. No stage is the same. No, you know. So Everything is different. All the time. I mean, because I was saying, like, I've done media for 10 years. I'm starting to feel a bit of a burnout, but maybe it's just because I'm 30. But you guys have been in the game for how long now? Cumulatively plus time off. Oh, that this is 13 years yeah, now. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. That <laughs> That's crazy. I never How thought about it. How do you guys it. look the same? <laughs> I actually did not think about it until just now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know that's a teenager. Yeah. It's yeah. true. That's the one who's telling them, Mom, Mom, listen, you need to understand me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I have a voice also. What <laughs> voice where? My sister, respect is two ways. That was my sister as a teenager. I was <gasps> like, yo? Respect what? Are you joking? Respect goes both ways. No, no. I was like, okay. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay. She was reading too many books. <laughs> <laughs> like, where? <laughs> you pay taxes is when you get the respect. Yeah. Right now you live under my house. Yeah. You do what I say. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys are finally back. Something like yeah, that. Something like that. What do you mean something like that? <laughs> you, um, Brian is yes. fully, fully. Yeah. In fact, you just take it away. I think uh, what I would say is we really structure every single thing that we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've always uh, struck, I've, I've had this passion for this. Uh, it's like a passion project, let me just say that. Yeah. So there's something that I'm trying to create that would be a legacy, especially for all the upcoming artists yeah. who will come on board. Hopefully, it's called the Fun Bus. Mm -hmm. So basically, Elan is here to support in support of the Fun Bus. Nice. First, yeah. and in support of my first new single. Yeah. Well, well. Yeah. So we, we are always family in everything that we do. Oh, we man. do together. So um, that's, what's, that's what's up. 
really, basically. Yeah. We are here to push the fan bus. Uh -huh. So it's a platform for upcoming artists. So anyone who really is looking for a platform yeah. to showcase your talent, yeah. be you an instrumentalist, a dancer, mm -hmm. a musician, mm -hmm. a rapper, look for the fan bus. I love it. Yeah. Fan buses game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. that you've talked about, you know, creating a platform and an avenue for upcoming artists mm -hmm. because, I mean, one of the stories when we look at musicians in Kenya of, you know, guys who've probably been done a dirty or, you know, didn't mm -hmm. get the right experience when they were getting into the industry was definitely yours, for you sure. know. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, without getting into the nitty gritties of it because they might shoot the messenger, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, um, what do you think is going to be different about your approach with you know helping artists or creatives let's say mm -hmm. want to come into the industry as opposed to how people handled you guys when you were just getting in you know what's going to be different how do they know that you know probably what you struggled with mm -hmm. is definitely what not they're not going to struggle, struggle with yeah mm -hmm. i think with the experience that we have because clearly you can see 13 years is no joke Jeez, yeah yeah so anyone who's coming in one year in two year in you're frustrated omcsk is not paying as we've been there 13 years we've spoke about it we've broken down the law we've gone to the nitty-gritties people will listen some will not listen some will get paid some mm -hmm. won't get paid mm -hmm. so we've seen the whole bittersweet experience yeah mm -hmm. And uh, what we're trying to create is just a musical heavenly space whereby yeah. you can just express yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not controlled by anyone mm -hmm. because legally I know exactly what needs to be done. So <laughs> we're going to sort that out. I like so it's that. just a, a space for you to create, be free. And uh, it's, it's definitely on merit. Nice. I always say, you know, good stuff will always yeah. sell itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you guys took a bit of a, you know, break, let's call it a step mm -hmm. back. Life happens, you know. Maybe just catch us up with what all of you guys have been up to now, up until we've seen you tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maureen. So, I have been, I think I realized this part of growing up, it's a conversation I had with a boy. Mm -hmm. This part of growing up where you have to figure out who you are by yourself. Yeah. And I think that's what I used, like, the time to do mm -hmm. so the the period of time that we've been away has been now figuring out you know we're, just before we started when you're saying you want to be a farmer yeah you became a farmer <laughs> <laughs> well, <wait. laughs> you know? money, but, but, money. Like, um, yeah. no, but <laughs> it's just like one of those things it was a journey of self-discovery a journey of creating music even if it's like under mm -hmm. and a few projects so i don't want to i don't even think i'm allowed to say a lot of stuff but you'll see me on a screen sometime soon that's another story <laughs> for another day yeah. <laughs> but yeah it was it was a journey of self-discovery that has brought us into 2022 and i think for everyone 2022 was sort of past covid and past mm -hmm. everything everyone is sort of ready this year mm -hmm. i don't know whether you feel that generally i felt that a lot okay i might have this feeling we've been going through a hurricane so I'm yeah like, yeah. Oh, we're out. <laughs> it seems, yeah we're out we're out so it seems like everybody has sort of settled mm -hmm. uh including myself so now uh, I'll be back to YouTube. I had done YouTube for about four years. I'll be nice. back onto that. I was shooting for that already. Okay. Uh, and then there's some other small, small media things, small, small, that I can't, <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about. But <laughs> you shall see them. You know, you're not allowed to talk about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there is an NDA that has been dropped. And you, one boy, aside from losing the voice, but oh it's, I like God. this new one. It's husky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. Oh my goodness, I feel like it sounds so weird. <laughs> anyway, um, as Morena said, it, it really did give us an opportunity to venture and check out stuff about ourselves that maybe we didn't have the time mm -hmm. or the courage or the, abil uh, the ability or capacity to do before. Mm -hmm. Because we did start Elani when we were much younger. I mean, mm -hmm. when we were saying 13 years, we were <laughs> children, literally, wow. when we started Elani. When Cap we just started. We just joined campus. Yeah. Yes, that's the point at which Elani started. So we were just young guys. Um, so I've come to discover many things about myself that I like, and I've also come to discover that I'm a very private person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think outside of Elani, it's so difficult. I don't know why. It's so difficult for me to share. So I found a little bit of myself that I can share, which is. I unfortunately went through some form of hair loss. So mm -hmm. when you see me like this, it's just because I washed my hair last night. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the hair loss. Yeah. So luckily, I managed to get treatment oh. for this hair loss. And I was lucky that I got it at the time that was the proper time. Otherwise, mm. if I waited for too long, I wouldn't yeah, have been loss. able to uh, be a good candidate for that treatment. Mm. So I'm so happy that I can sit here and have a head full of hair and mm. be happy for that. But 
I worry about the many people that don't have that information. Like I didn't have that information before I got to mm -hmm. treatment. So I really, really have been working on trying to create a, a lot of awareness about that. Mm -hmm. And also on the other hand, I know how vanity and beauty is so important to all of us, even men. Mm -hmm. I'm Tell pointing them. at all the Tell men them. in the studio. <laughs> yes. Um, and so I'm also trying to advocate for good hair practices where we can mm -hmm. really just get to uh, achieve our own goals, hair goals, whatever that is. If you want short hair, have short hair, but let it be healthy. It. If you want long hair, have long hair, but don't don't have long stringy hair <laughs> at the expense of volume because you're you're just trying to keep it long and it's not healthy. That's not cute. So I call them rat tails. What? You know those babies that are having rat tails instead of ponytails? Ooh. It's not cute. You should just go there. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm saying that because it can be different. Mm -hmm. If you can grow your hair to that length, you can have it fuller and better. Mm -hmm. So hopefully with time I can get back and I've slowed down a little bit because life was happening. Yeah. COVID and my other things in yeah. life were just haywire. So now I feel a bit settled and I yeah. agree with you. There's a level of things are coming Calm. down a little mm. bit and we're trying to get back into the tempo that we knew we had. Mm -hmm. So yeah, hopefully I'll get back there and continue advocating. But I'm so excited that this year I got to announce my brand ambassadorship with a hair care brand, a local hair care brand wow. known as Tricofort. It's a new uh, Kenyan hair product yes. uh, that is backed by the number one trichologist we have in Africa. Uh, trichologist Muli Mosioka. So I'm really excited to be part of oh, that wow. team. And I'm really excited to continue the hair manenos, as my mother calls passion. it. Mm -hmm. In the midst of and what I, was a struggle. And like, I, I, for example, like, say I'm getting ready for a date. Yeah. Getting ready is the most exciting thing for me. Like, I did my hair, mm. I did my hair, <laughs> I did my makeup. It's so nice. And I know how that putting yourself together is so important to us and it makes us feel good about ourselves. Oh, really? So that's really why I'm rallying about it because we can't deny that if you're having a hair issue where your hair is falling out, even for guys, it does affect your self-confidence. It does affect how you feel about yourself. Yeah. And in return, it will affect how you reflect yourself on others yeah. and how you even allow people to treat you. So if you can get that out of the way, maybe then we can fix you a part of your self-confidence exactly. and get you a, get you to be a better version of yourself. I love it. These guys mm. were really winning when guys were struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I'm one thing. I'm definitely all about, you know, silver linings. COVID yeah. and, you yeah. know, the past two years in the country have been hectic. And then now we're heading into an election. Mm -hmm. And not many of us know what is what. But if there's one thing I've learned is how to power through any situation. <laughs> right. for sure. And for me, I'm always there for the stories on how you know we were in a fix and we're in a terrible situation but hey this was my silver lining and it changed everything in yeah. my life so yeah. i love it brio mm -hmm. man's like brian mm -hmm. <laughs> tell think, us i think for me <laughs> just the same old uh, growth a lot of confusion especially when covid came because mm -hmm. you know as a guy manze kama una structure inaweza kuwa hey, inaweza kuwa affect kabisa and covid just flipped every single thing like all the five-year plans that I had, 10-year plans got messed up. Mm. So every single thing had to go back to the drawing board. So to date, I'm still trying to maneuver. At least I have the structure. I've been doing a lot of things. Like over the past few years, one of my passions was not just to do one thing. Mm. Like music has always been a passion and it comes easy because I'm really good at it and I know exactly what is needed. Absolutely. So... When it comes to these other things, because I'm, I'm also an advocate, mm -hmm. so I do practice from time to time. So I'm really trying to spread my wings and see exactly how best I can impact so many different people's lives because I'm very passionate about changing people's lives, making sure people are more responsible, you're doing the right things, because too much is given, much is expected. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. as a guy, if you don't have a legacy, these are the same kids who will look at you and say, check them, say, yeah i like that um you've all taken your individual journeys yeah. Yeah. very serious sometimes it is like i've always struggled with it you know being on radio you have different co-hosts after now going through a couple you learn to form who you are outside of 
the entire the group cycle, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. You're like, okay, so this is Kamene. And it's important that, you know, and I tell a lot of young people, figure out who you are. So your friends are great. Your business partners are dope. Your mm-hmm. classmates, good. But you go through so many people, so many friendships, so many relationships, those that last and some that don't, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that you won't entirely know who you are as an individual. Mm-hmm. Exactly. True. You know, it'll always be Maureen based on one boy and Brian, or Brian mm-hmm. based mm-hmm. on one boy and Maureen. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But... Psh, Clearly, you guys are doing quite quite well. We're trying. Yeah. I mean, we'll try. Nobody, yeah. nobody has the manual. Too, yeah. Nobody yeah. has the manual. You it's know, true. it's just a day at a time. So half half the people walking around with these big posts or jobs just don't don't even know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. But it's <laughs> it's one day at a time. It's one day at a time because if everybody, if somebody knew what the hell they were doing, yeah. then they would be so perfect next to Jesus, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we are all just trying to figure it, it out. out. Yeah. Yeah. It's all just guesswork. Trial and error. I keep on telling yeah. people, by the way, normalize making mistakes. It's okay, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Let them be like, wait, 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 wait. Hey, come in there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Do that yes. again. Na si jimbo na wase wengi wana wagopanga kumesa. Yeah. Because when I can, because yeah. t- majority of the time, me no nanga, ile effect ya, wase watasema nini. Yeah. Utaka yeah. nibaya. Yeah. Iyo oh, kitu yeah. ina cripple wase. Sana. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. gosh. It's so frustrating. Not what will they say? Exactly. Uh, you know what we say? <laughs> it's so interesting. If, you know, the way um, we are so critical of ourselves and what other people think, if, yeah. if the shoe was on the other foot, no one would be saying anything. Not at all. We'd mm-hmm. just be over no here keeping ever. quiet. I'm exactly. like, oh, so you want to bug me about the skeletons in my closet? But now, open yours. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But good stuff. We'll be talking about so much more that Elani is doing. Do you want to give us like a Kalusa Capella and just you know, the lovely, lovely <coughs> voices you guys have? We're going to throw it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to throw it back. Okay, <laughs> okay. Subira Jari Bukui Vutale. Subira Jari Bukui Vutale. Leo. I can't. Like, I want to see the cartoon is the talent. I'm going to need some crazy. Come in, it is. It is. What? This is This is just rehearsal. I mean, you know, we used to rehearse so much. We didn't start out like mm. this. There was someone I used to, I, I was telling people oh. the other day, mm-hmm. we used to rehearse Uhuru Park. Uhuru oh, Park, we got to end up a park. We got to meet the house, we end up a park. Imagine. Like, the cops used to come and be like, you can't sit here, like, you can't idle. Yeah, what are you around. doing? I know sometimes I tell people, like, you know, it's um, it's work, but it's mm-hmm. a full-time job. Yeah. I have, uh, there's my, the group programs controller is like, oh, you don't want to put in the work. Can you imagine, you know, like, football players? Mm-hmm. Oh, How right. long does Cristiano train for right. to go chaza one, one game? game. Yeah. Exactly. Some I think that's why like Ronaldo, the older Ronaldo. The other, the other that's one. why he's big, like he just looks at the life he used to live. Ah, screw that. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I want. It's what I want. I'll wake no, up but what I want. That's the thing, like professional, yeah. professional, professional, professional yeah. uh, athletes. Yeah. 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 Why you have to retire at 36, 37, because your body is changed. wrecked. Yeah. yeah. Like I can't do it. The body's yeah. like, I'm out. No, I'm done. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But you're you considered older than 35. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, he must be saying he can continue. It's fine. He's doing well. I should walk on a challenge when you're in there.